Good morning, good morning everybody. If this is your first time watching, I am Sandra Fellers and um, I'm here today to do a live craft DIY that I hope you really like. Um, I come live, um, I'll try to, every Sunday with a brand new craft. Um, and to make sure that you keep up with those and don't miss out on anything um, that I've got going on, um, you can join my free crafting club on Facebook. It is called the Hen House Crafting Club. If you're interested, just leave me a comment um, down below and I will get you a link so that you can get right in there. Um, it's a super fun place to hang out, to share crafts that you're working on, but also to make sure that you don't miss out on um, seeing my videos and things that I'm working on too. Um, and it's a good place to share inspiration ideas and um, ask others for help on, um, you know, maybe a project that you have in mind. So um, I'd love to have you in there. <clears throat> Excuse me, just let me know. So today we have, um, I, I got a new board in the mail. And this is the black and white. So instead of the black chalkboard, it's reversed. So it has the black frame and the white board, which you can see the other one in the background has the white frame with the black board that I love. Um, I can't remember what this one is called. Let me look, look real quick. I just took it out of the box. I think I would remember. So this is the Sylvie black frame board and it is a nine by 12. So this one's a nine by 12. Um, it works just like um, the black chalk boards as far as when you use the um, chalkboard paste, <clears throat> it will wash right off no problem and you can um, reuse it over and over again. Uh, one of my favorite things about um, the Chalk Couture boards is that they're reusable and that they clean up so nicely as compared to um, just your standard chalkboard that you can buy at the department stores. So um, we're going to use this today. Um, this is just cardboard, by the way. We're going to pull that off. Um, they put it in there for shipping to keep it from um, getting the corners banged up. So um, the, the frame is completely black. <clears throat> so I thought we would use this transfer that says family is not an important thing it is everything so um, I really like that saying uh, family is important to me as well um, and to get to know you better um, leave me a comment down below <clears throat> to let me know um, like, how big is your family? Maybe, um, are you an only child? Or do you have siblings? How many do you have? <clears throat> or even uh, children. You can tell me about how many children you have, that kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> just as a way for us to get to know each other a little bit better. Because um, I just really like interacting with um, the audience. And um, I want to get to know you so that I can know... Um, better what kind of projects and things that you're interested in and and just know things um, that you are interested in as well. So a little bit about me is that I am the youngest of um, six children. There are four boys and two girls in my family. Um, girls are pretty rare um, and I have two children. I was uh, very luckily or I'd rather say I was very blessed to receive uh, one boy and one girl, um, even though boys are pretty rare in my family. Um, and I have my very first grandchild on the way. We just found out that it's a girl. So i um, super happy and excited about that. Um, so anyway, just leave me a comment. Let me know a little bit about you um, so that we can keep getting to know each other. Today, um, I thought for this project, we would use the grayish and the couture teal. Don't those look amazing together? It's going to look really nice on our board. And let's just um, get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do before we start our project is I want to share this live video over to 
um, the Hen House Crafting Club. Because like I said, that's the place to go um, if you want to make sure you don't miss out on anything. And the reason for that is, even if you like my business page, which I love for you to like my business page too, but even if you like my business page, it doesn't mean that Facebook is going to show you all of my posts. Um, so if you're in a group, Facebook likes groups better. So if you're in a group, Facebook is um, more likely to show you the posts from that group than they are to show you posts from my business page. So that's another reason that I really like for you to join in um, is um, a way to help you, uh, you know, not miss out on anything because um, I don't want you to miss out on any of the fun. So I'm on my laptop here. Let me just scroll on down and find this live video so I can share it. Okay, here we go. And if you um, if you have any friends or family that you think would be interested in watching this video, I'd love for you to. Um, share it with them or create a watch party so that you can watch it with them um, because the more the merrier. I mean, I love to have all of you um, in my group and interacting and showing me your crafts that you're working on, all of that good stuff. So um, share away, invite all your favorites. Okay, so now I have that shared on over there. I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera down so that you can see what I'm working on and we'll go from there. All right. So make sure you can see my desktop. I need to pull these cardboard things off that are stapled on the back. So also on the back of this board, it does have the little hanging, um, I don't know, what are these called? Like alligator hangers or something like that? So there's one on the long side and one on the short side. So you can hang it um, whichever way is going to work best for your design. So we're going to do ours up and down like this because that's what fits the transfer that we're working with. And these are called transfers and not stencils. And the reason for that is all of the white space that you see in here is not empty space. It actually has a screen in there. Um, so it's more like a screen print process um, than it is um, a stencil. So the first thing that we need to do is get our fuzzing cloth out. If you do not have a fuzzing cloth, you can totally use a, um, a regular terry cloth cloth um, because what we're doing is we are literally adding fuzz to the back of this transfer. And the reason that we're doing that is we don't want it to be so, so sticky that we have a hard time placing it on our board because it keeps sticking and grabbing. And we want to make it easier to uh, remove from our board so that we don't damage the transfer when we're trying to get it off. So now I'm just going to try to center this a little bit. Try to make sure I have an even amount on each side and then it's not too terribly crooked. If it's not perfect, it's totally okay. Okay, so I just want to make sure that the areas around the screen are stuck down. I don't have to worry about the outside edges at all. Make sure that there are no air bubbles under there so that we get a nice um, smooth design. So what I'm thinking about doing is um, I was thinking for family, I would use the teal and it's everything I would use the teal 
and then I was going to use gray on everything else. So um, let's see how that's going to work. It can get a little tricky to get just little tiny spaces. So I'm going to show you um, how I like to do that is a couple of things. Um, one is this multi-use tool. It has a little curved edge here that is excellent for when you're stirring your chalk paste, which you always want to do before using it. Um, this will cup under the edge of the jar and make sure that you're um, scraping the edge all the way around and getting it mixed up very well. But this edge, what I like to use this for is when you need to get into tiny little spaces and you don't want to get your chalk outside of those spaces, you can use this as um, a squeegee. And so it might be perfect for this because see, it's almost the exact same size as these letters. So I'll probably use it for this section right here because I want this outside piece to be gray, but I want this piece to be teal. So um, that's what we're gonna work with today is that um, tool that I don't use all the time on live. I use it all the time to stir my jars and stuff, but often I do that um, before I even start recording. So you miss that part. So uh, my jars are stirred up and ready to go. So let's see, let me strategize here. I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down. So I think I'm gonna try to do all of the gray first and then come back and do the teal. So I have grayish right here. It's been stirred up and let's see, I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna use a small squeegee. Um, I also have the mini squeegee. It's a little bit bigger than the multi-use tool, um, but I think this one is gonna work well for me, so that's what I'm gonna get started with. So you just want to load up some chalk paste on your squeegee, and then glide it across the area that you're um, working with. You don't have to press down very hard. Um, you just want to glide, but you do want to kind of push it through the screen a little bit and not just kind of, you don't want to just pat it like that because it, it might not go all the way through the screen. And then when you lift it up, it's going to look like you lifted up all of your paste because it didn't actually go through the screen. these little side pieces. So I think what I'm gonna do is, since um, it's gonna take me a minute to get through um, the whole thing, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the excess up here. And I'm just gonna work at it one section at a time. So to remove the excess, I just stand up my squeegee more at a, a 90 degree angle and glide it across the area again. Okay, so to keep it from drying in the screen and lifting from my board, I'm going to go ahead and lift up the section that we just worked with. All right, so this is what we have so far. It's looking good. So now I'm gonna just gently lay it back down, but not press it back down to where the chalk is coming back up through the screen. And then I'm gonna work my way down. I'm gonna skip family, cause we're gonna come back and do that in teal. All right, so let's work with this next gray section. Trying not to get it on the family. That's what I was saying. When you're doing these intricate ones and you're trying to do multiple colors, it can be a little bit tedious. You could do this all in one color too, by the way, if you didn't want to worry about that. Um, and it would be very pretty still. But I thought it would look really cute with a pop of teal in there. So that's what we're going to do today. 
Okay, I'm gonna try and get this whole middle section and then I'll remove the excess again, like we did before. Okay. Now I'm just gonna do carefully this line outside of the words that I want to be teal. All right, so now let's remove the excess. And this is not wasted product because I'm putting it right back in the jar when I lift it off. And again, I'm not pressing down hard. I'm just gliding across the top placing it back in the jar. So we're getting close here, ready to reveal the next section. Let me make sure I got all the excess off down here without interfering with uh, my words that I want to be teal. So now we're going to lift that section. Here we go. It's looking good. Awesome. There we go. So now we have the middle gray section done and I'm going to gently lay it back down and I'm going to come down and do this bottom section. This will be our last gray section. Make sure those pieces are stuck down there. Okay. So same thing. I'm just applying the chalk paste by gliding it over the top. Not too much on here. I'm making a little bit of a mess. Trying carefully not to get it on those words up there that I want to be teal. Okay, now placing the excess back in the jar, we're going to go back and remove the excess here from the transfer. And if you accidentally get some off the edge of your transfer, do not worry. It is super easy to wipe it off when you're finished with just a wet paper towel. It'll come right off. All right, bear with me. We're getting ready to Move on to the next step. Okay, there, I think we have all of the gray taken care of. Got a little bit there. All right, so I'm gonna lift this up and then gently lay it back down like we did with the other sections. So there you go. All right, so I only need to make sure that this area is down and this area. So those are the ones that we're gonna be working with. All right, now this is my couture teal that I'm going to apply here using my multi-use tool. Just carefully making sure to keep it in that one area. Guys, this is going to look so cute. I can't wait to see the finished product. 
All right, now I'm coming back and removing the excess. Tiny bit more. Right there. I think I got it all. So let's lift up this bottom section. Excellent. Look at that. Couture teal may just be one of my favorites. All right, let's get this word up here at the top. So we're going to go over family with the couture teal. Trying not to get the edges of the banner there. Okay, a little bit more on my tool, get those last two letters. When you're working in small areas like this, using a small amount can be key. Because if you have a large amount on your tool, when you go to glide it across, it can seep outside of the area that you want it to be on. All right, so now I'm just removing some excess that we have on here. And we're just about ready to lift it up. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Let's see what it looks like. Ta-da! There we go. What do you guys think? What color combination would you use? Would you use something different than the teal and gray? piece of gray right here. Wipe that right up. Make sure I don't have any others. All right. I think we are done with this beauty. Let me lift up and show you the finished product. All right, so I know the lettering is backwards for you because my camera is in selfie mode. I'm sorry about that. Um, but it does say family is not an important thing. It is everything. So I really like this saying. And um, don't forget to comment down below. Tell me a little bit about your family. Um, I told you guys a little bit about mine and how I'm the youngest of six children. I have two children of my own and one grandbaby on the way. So I'd love to hear a little bit about you um, so that we can get to know each other a little bit better. Thank you so much for joining. I really, truly appreciate it. I love to have you guys here every Sunday and spend a little bit of time with you. Um, and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think and let me know uh, what color or combination of choice you would like to see. Um, and maybe we can uh, work on our next project with uh, your color choices. Uh, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, don't forget to tune in next Sunday. Um, and thanks again. Have a wonderful Sunday.